I'm Philip Hatzis, and I'm head coach for Try Training Harder, and I'm going to show you about step number two around improving your running technique, and these quick, easy steps to help you develop yourself into a better and more effective and more efficient runner. So we're going to look and take on those ideas with simple checks in step one, and let's look at your proprioception and your stability. So when we're talking about proprioception, it's your ability to move and everything stabilise, balance around your centre of mass. So moving outside of that centre line and still be able to bring yourself back in and stabilise. So, when you think about running, you're running, standing one leg, you're moving forwards. You're going to be doing that over and over again. If you're on the uneven grounds, you come in, you need to make sure you stabilise on mud, terrains and everything like that. So it's really important to have stability. Stability goes from your shoulders all the way down to your big toe all the way through your ankles. So you're looking at every single part of that. So let's just think about that stability side of things. We took one of those tests earlier on as can you stand on one leg? We mentioned then, can you stand on one leg and close your eyes? Often that's where you see people going all over the place like this. Please do so in a place where you know if you do fall over you're going to be safe. But the point of this exercise is to try and increase those levels of instability. So, let's stand on one leg. Let's do it for 30 seconds. Let's go over to the other side. 30 seconds. Then close your eyes. Now do it for another 30 seconds. Go to the other foot without opening your eyes. 30 seconds. Back to the first one. Eyes still closed. 30 seconds. Back to the second leg again for another 30 seconds. Eyes closed. And then open them up again. If you can go through that, you've definitely done a really good job of your proprioception. But let's just think about that a little bit more. If you had to open your eyes after, say, 10 seconds or 15 seconds, was it equal on both foot, feet? If it wasn't, there's a level of instability or something not quite working which you want to try and address. So try and build it up to 30 seconds. If 30 seconds eyes shut was easy, then let's get you onto a wobble board or a stability disc or a cushion. Let's put that on the ground and then start doing the same thing that you've got a little bit less stability there because you're on a wobbly board. And you try and stabilise and hold yourself on that position. Eyes open to begin with and then exactly the same protocol as before, swapping eyes shut to um, leg to leg either side as you go along and see how, how that works. If you can start building in good balance, if you are able to run from that position and drive through without any wobble, think about how much more effective you're going to be. Just think about it, you land on the foot there, if you've got stability and you're landing all the way through, nice straight stability, good strong core which comes with it, then all the power you're putting in to drive yourself land there and drive yourself forward is going into driving you forwards. If you're landing there, you've got some stability issues going on, so you're moving around a little bit, you're going to find it very difficult to stabilise effectively, and then you're going to find that actually you're using more energy to stabilise, more muscle is going in to make sure you're level, stable, not moving your arms out, etc., as opposed to driving you forwards. So, Having an improved proprioception, having improved, improved stability is a really easy way to become a more efficient and more effective runner without doing any extra training. It's just making you more stable. That's as simple as it is. So those are some tips there. Again, you can go back to the Try Training Harder YouTube channel or our website for more information around stability exercises and how to improve your running stability.